Hello, I'm Amber Uper, and this is a model kit review. And for this kit review, today we have an Airfix model. It's 172nd scale uh, Junkers JU52. So let's take a look at the box. Yeah, at the top of the box, nothing on the back. Typical box, nothing on the back. Now you look at the uh, side, here's one, just shows other kits. Over here you've got uh, some information and some other kits. Let's see, the ends. You can tell this is an old kit. So let's take a look at uh, what's inside the box here. Do get the top off. There we go. As you can see in this kit, all the parts are loose. So we got the instructions, we got the decals, and we got a pile of parts. So let's take a look at the instructions first, shall we? Let's move this out of the way. All right, so there's the uh, all of the information on the plane right here, the history of it. Um, all right. And you have your first page of assembly, and it just shows all of the parts. You've got the numbers of the parts. And here you have um, your description of what to put where and what to glue on and all of that for the instructions. And uh, then you have over here finishing the outsides of it, putting the engines on and the landing gear wheels and that. And then there's also the option of using uh, floats here, which I find pretty interesting. Uh, float supports and floats, how to put those together. So the, the instructions are pretty basic, but I'm sure you can figure out how to put the, the uh, plane together using them. And then you've got some uh, basic uh, painting, uh, paint color schemes. This one is, would be a um, ambulance plane and a transport plane, which is what most of the JU-52s were. So that's about all there is to the, uh, to the instructions. And so we look at the decals. And it's possible that this kit is not super old just by looking at the decals. There's um, all of the German crosses, but there's no swastikas in this decal set. Plus it's got this uh, cover, decal cover, so it's probably not a super old kit. Anyway, the decals are all yellowed, but they may still be useful. I've heard there is a, a way to uh, to get rid of that yellowing, but I don't know much about that right now. So let's take a look at the parts. And here we have just a box full of parts. So we'll start with the wings. You got one wing that's still on a sprue. You got this, um, uh, I believe it's one of the uh, extendable flaps that the JU-52 had. And then you've got a, I believe they're ailerons. I think that's what they're called. Flaps. Um, so this is, I believe it's a wing top. This would be, I'm not sure which is the top, which one's the bottom actually. I don't know if the instructions tell you much about that or not. They must, I suppose. Uh, let's see. So this is the top here, judging by that. And then this is the bottom, so it would go like that. All right. So there's a pair of wing tops and bottoms, uppers and lowers. And you've got one body panel here and the other body panel here. So those are... Uh, well, they're nicely detailed for 172nd scale. Go together like that. This, uh, I don't know how well this uh, model fits together. It's, I don't have much experience with these uh, type of models, but I'm sure you can make it fit together pretty well. So there's your two body halves. And then you've got your um, pontoons. And boy, are these things, or floats, I should say. Floats, pontoons. These things are huge. I mean, they're almost as long as the, the airplane is. 
So here's the top of one of the floats. Uh, so basically the body of the float. And then this is the bottom of the float. So it goes on like that, basically. And got the other one here. And then you have this, which... Is this the top of the plane or the bottom? It's the top of the plane. Top of the fuselage. And then this is the bottom of the fuselage. And then we have, oh, that's part of a stand. And here you have windows for the uh, sides of the body. Gla these uh, plastic, clear plastic parts are always so hard to show on the camera. Maybe you can see them, but it's, it's always difficult. And here is the canopy for the uh, body. That's just an empty sprue, another empty sprue. There's a sprue that's still got a part on it. That's the other extendable uh, flap. Or maybe they're not extendable. Maybe they're permanently extended. I don't, I'm not sure on the JU-52. There's a couple of ailerons. Pilots. Uh, various detail parts. I, these are probably struts for the pontoons. Uh, let's see. Here you have propellers. Two of the propellers. Ladders. I'm guessing the ladders are for... Uh, just boarding ladders. I don't see them in the. Uh, oh yeah, they're out on the, they're out on the pontoons. Okay. And then you have, I believe that's one of the tail surfaces. And you got your engine parts here. There's three engines in this thing. So you got your two wing engine cowlings. This is probably the uh, nose uh, engine cowling. Then you got your landing wheels. These are one-piece wheels. Your flight sticks. I believe this is probably the flight deck. A couple of bulkheads for the body. Here is a couple more strut pieces. Probably for the big floats if you want to use that option. And we have an assortment of parts in here. Here's the tail, the vertical uh, tail with the rudder. Let's put that there. Here's the other tail wing, another flap. Let's see. This is part of the cockpit. This is the floor, one of the floor pieces. There's a landing strut for the wheel. Here's the other landing strut for the wheel. There's two of them. It's a cowling side piece. Uh, wheel skirts. What else we got in here? We got another pilot. There's your third propeller. There's the third engine because there was two of them. Yeah. These two engine fronts, and then here's the third engine front. What else is in here? A lot of loose parts. Here's a couple more struts for the uh, for the land for the pontoons or float supports. Uh, tail wheel. If you're doing that, not sure what these parts are. This looks like it's just a piece of sprue. This part, yeah, it's in its detail part for the uh, interior. So that's all the parts that are in there. This is the uh, the leg for the display base. Uh, goes in there somehow, like that. So there's your display base. And that's uh, all, pretty much all there is to this airplane. So we'll put all the parts back in. This one, all the parts are just floating around in the box.
I don't know if this kit came in a bag or not. Uh, obviously, it's not in a bag now. This is a um, model that was uh, purchased on the uh, vintage model uh, market on eBay. So it's hard to say if somebody had opened it and messed with it or if it's just a uh, an OEM model that just didn't have all the parts in the bag. I really don't know about that one. But there it is. This is the 172nd scale airfix kit for the Junkers Ju-52 transport plane of uh, pre and World War II era. Thanks for watching.